G'day, I'm Ash, and welcome back to uh, Plane Mechanic Simulator, although it should really be called Aircraft Mechanic Simulator. Regardless, we're with, with the Spitfire again. Another fruitless patrol, by the way. I noticed the radio is starting to lose signal. See what you can do about it. So, we've got to refuel the aircraft and set up the radio. Sometimes you'll be asked to tune the aircraft's radio. To do so, first open the radio doors and slide the radio out, then start tuning by pressing space. How intriguing. Okay, now can I get rid of this uh, tips menu? Thank you. Alright, so we know the radio is, is located here from the last particular point. So what we'll do is we'll roll the radio out. Uh, and I'm not necessarily going to tune that just yet. We'll refuel the aircraft first because this is refueling air, aircraft refueling simulator. Come on, we're going to place the ladder right. And you got to make sure you don't walk under the ladder. Grab the fuel hose. I do apologise for the lack of videos recently. Uh, it has been quite annoying to me to try and create War Thunder videos or create content out of nothing. So, last week was a bit of a furious week for me. Especially uh, fiddling with the VR. As I'm trying to do some rune scale, uh, scale uh, stuff as well as record it. It is an absolute nightmare. I don't know, it's not as easy as you might uh, think it is. Regardless, also, I'm supposed to be looking at Tank Mechanic Sim here in the next couple of days. So that'll be a thing. I just hope it doesn't mentally drive me numb. While I know a lot about aircraft, I do not know a goddamn thing about tanks. I know that I don't fit in them. <laughs> I'm six foot four, and I'm a bloody big bloke. So, yeah, good luck with that. All right, let's tune the radio. The TR9 radio installed on the Spitfire has two major components, the transmitter and the receiver. To tune the transmitter, tune the frequency knob until the signal needle is as, as close to the right as possible. To tune the receiver, you'll have two knobs. Uh, the top one is for finding, so this one up here, transmitter frequency power indicator. So this one, the rec receiver. Ooh. To tune the receiver, you have two knobs. Top one is for finding, the right frequency, and the bottom one is for fine tuning. Okay. So you can't actually hear anything there. Come on. There you go. Turn it to there. There we go. Set up the radio. Fantastic. Well, that was easier than I thought it was. I absolutely dislike uh, radios. <laughs> now let's slide that back in there. Close down the radio hatch and there we go. That is all done. And we've just refueled the aircraft so now we can move on to the next one. Alrighty. Uh, my first kill. We intercepted a group of Stugas near the coast and I sent one to the ground. His tail gunner managed to put a few holes in the wings but I think it's nothing serious. Replace all the gun patches, refuel the coolant, refuel the aircraft, patch all the bullet holes, rearm the machine guns, and replace the, the gun camera tape. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Looks like this is going to be a, a long one for sure. Grab the coolant uh, container. Pour the coolant in. Wait until it gets to the maximum level. And add more there we go a little can't always necessarily help it's not letting me put it down for some reason come on put it down there we go okay next stage uh, no, hang on close that up make sure that's on tight close the access door screw her up okay uh, pick up the hose, that's the next thing we're going to go do. Make sure this is completely full. Alright, 
we've undone the fuel fuel thing all right jump over here oh he was nearly out of fuel gonna fill up with all of the gallons of fuel and then we've got to do rearm all the machine guns do all the gun patches and a considerable amount more tasks as well okay there we go all right up the ladder we go Davo and his fuel mobile off he goes see you later mate so let's just pick up the ladder and make sure it goes over here see you later mate cheerio patch all bullet holes that's gonna be fun all right we're gonna clean all the gun barrels first the there we go all right we haven't done this one all right now i'm gonna take off all the patches last one and now we get to play uh, opening all of the boxes because this is always a fun game. Let's take off the ammunition. Take off this. We're just going to open every single door regardless of whether we need to or not. Unfortunately, in the standard operating procedure is to open all of the hatches underneath just to arm all of the guns. So first off, we're going to open up all of them. There we go. Next one. I'll do this as quickly as possible. I don't know whether this particular mission is on timer or not, but I am getting quite proficient in taking things apart. I wish it was the same way IRL. I'm quite slow at taking things apart. It'll take me like 10 minutes just to get all the screws off. <laughs> just because I'm pedantic about the way I do things. All right, now we'll take the ammunition boxes out. We'll go up in a second to do... We'll go up in a second to do the whole entire gun breach thing and open the upper doors as well. I'm just going to make sure that I take all the ammunition boxes out. Here we are. All right, uh, we've got these two to go yet. Two. It's a lot of ammunition for these uh, machine guns. It's a pity they don't have a cannon version of the Spitfire. However, I am hearing rumours about this game, uh, particularly pertaining to a German expansion or a possibility of adding more aircraft to this game in the near future, which would be great, but also not so great at the same time. I think this game, as it is, needs a lot of work. It's a bit clunky. The graphics don't look as nice as they do in the screenshots. If I zoom it, it's got this weird this weird tracking motion everything's not that fluid you know it certainly needs change but by far this is probably the best most realistic experience that you'll probably have all right let's take off all the gun ports on the upper guns now it says you're not allowed to walk here so technically i should be walking along here as i fall off the wing that would probably be something that i would do knowing me all right here we go take upper door off again process is very tedious and I don't really have a lot to say it is kind of early in the morning for me when recording this right now I don't know why I do this to myself if I can't sleep I just go up and do a video speaking of videos it, it's kind of hard to do content when you don't feel motivated to and at the moment I'm not really motivated to do anything so <laughs> my speech isn't going to be necessarily uh, coherent at all um what else do we have to do oh yeah do all the gun patches One more. That's one task completed. Now, we had to, I believe it was, take off the gun camera tape. 
So this is really the interesting part here. We've got a gun camera. Let's take off the shell. We spin around here. Gun camera tape. There we are. Now we're supposed to take that out. So yeah, I was correct about that being the gun camera. Interesting. Please stop it. <laughs> yeah, you need. They're just telling me stuff that you know. The whispering in my ear. Hey, can you come fly Spitfires and IL Two? Another game that I need to desperately check out. All right. Ash, that'll do. When won't it do? All right. So let's install these ammunition boxes. Um, so that's the second ammunition box in. So we can basically close up everything on the bottom here. Install all the screws. And this is basically just what this game is. Just uh, uninstalling, reinstalling. I find it fascinating though. Because this is what they would have had to do. Back in 1941, 1942. Aircraft maintenance doesn't... Like, the standards from war. As sad as it is to say. Like war itself. Provides standards for future uh, operations. You know, they established a bunch of safety features and... Uh, stuff around civilian aviation because it became a more prominent thing you had these huge amount of war pilots who who were becoming commercial pilots and also were flying because they were pilots during the second world war See, a lot of the aviation industry we owe to pilots from the first world war even you know interwar periods as well i just find that fascinating because you know you transition from a wartime economy to a civilian economy You've got all this experience, but how do you relay that experience towards safer, um, more viable commercial, I don't know, infrastructure? Is it just me that finds that interesting and fascinating and how they how they actually maintain things? It's probably why I, I enjoy this game so much. Just because it's, 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 it's a look back at the past, and I'm glad that the devs of this particular game have made it so that you can... Even if it is three aircraft at the moment, although it's being rumoured that there'll be more aircraft. You're able to just sort of fiddle around and disassemble things. And I think that is absolutely fantastic. Because, I mean, things do go wrong. And, uh... Let's put the ammo belt in all of these. Right. And while war is, war is definitely sad... I can't really convey the experience of flying and I did go up a few weeks ago I went up in a, in a friend's uh, Piper Cub but I should, probably should do videos on that at some point if I can get myself a hand on hands on with the GoPro but the feeling of flying is something you can't put into a video you can really sort of you can loosely base the experience off like other flight sims but, again, it's not really the same thing. And I just think that flight... You know, we had we had all these different generations of, you know, wonders and inventions. For instance, first we had the horse, then we had the wheel. So, so, so man, man learned to walk, man learned to run. We then we found horses, we then invented the wheel. Shortly after the wheel, we then had... Well, I'll say shortly after. A few hundred years later, we had boats, which were a thing that, you know, people used to cross vast waters the first real mechanical age uh, that progressed were from the industrial age was trains but then we went to cars so the iron horse then we had cars and now well what have we got planes <laughs> i love planes so much planes are still a relatively new thing compared to how old trains are all right Oh, oh! This is a new tool. New riveting tool. I like it. All right, there's going to be a few of these holes, I presume. Add just a little more weight to the aircraft by uh, having some holes put in the, in the uh, airframe. Might have to paint these holes, actually. Dang, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of these holes. Okay, let's see. Uh, how many others do we have to go? They're only on this particular surface. Because there's nothing else we have to take out of this. 
Okay, right, we just have to put it back in. Okay, that, that makes sense. Alright, we're gonna put the access door back on that. Now, um, uh, see. We can't patch these holes, can we? Where are the rest of the holes? <laughs> There's something that I'm missing here and I have no idea what. Am I supposed to be patching the underside as well? I think I am. Ah. Uh. Right, now what else am I supposed to be pulling out? Pulled out that one, pulled out that one. Okay. Alright, well we're just going to have to... Uh... That's one. There we go, do another. And that's job done. We've, we've fixed all the holes. The aircraft has gone by. Let's take a screenshot of the aircraft now. Because that is our predominant feature here. There we go. It's probably going to be the thumbnail video. Anyway. We've done... Oh, God, that's bright. Let's, let's, let's turn over here. All right, we've done everything, and uh, I think that's about it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was certainly a look. We, we did some new things, I suppose. Uh, next time I do this game, it'll probably be one more final Spitfire video before progressing on to the Mosquito, which I'll probably end up by hating. Anyway, that's the last aircraft in the game uh, to take a look at. We've also got to play the mini game uh, with the machine gun rearming. There's, a, there's a, a certain segment we've got to do as well. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you think of the video down below. Um, and if you would, I don't know, do whatever. Okay, this is getting too long. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.